what I really think about my Discover credit card. Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Thomas. I make videos showing you guys different ways to make money online, how to carve your own path to financial freedom and fulfillment. If that's a message, jump down quick, subscribe guys, hit that bell, and make sure while you're down there, smash that thumbs up button, because what I'm doing in these videos, the next three videos, so this video, this video, and then two more, okay? I'm gonna be reviewing the three credit cards that I currently have, and so the Discover credit card right here, the Discover IT, Discover it, whatever you wanna call it, um, was my first credit card. So that's how I want to start off this little mini series, I guess you can call it. With that being said, we also kind of have somewhat of a room set up. We have some things done. I have to put a whiteboard right there. I'm going to be putting something right here, hopefully. Um, so we got more going. We got some lights, which we actually will be having uh, more of those be uh, more of those coming in today. I'm going to set those up. Uh, but we're getting there. So we're getting better. And the sound is going to get better because I'm going to have some padding um, at least around my desk. Hopefully that kind of muffs or at least kind of calms the echo, so we're gonna get that going. But um, this video and the next two are gonna be my credit card reviews. Um, for people who don't know, um, I have four credit cards technically, but three of them um, that I really use. The fourth I mentioned in a previous video was a Kohl's credit card. That was like my first real credit card that I got. Um, I talked about why I got that in a previous video if you guys wanna check that out. And I wanna go over Discover today, Discover IT. I got this credit card through a student um, sign up. I signed up as a student um, and it was kind of like a student offer, okay? So I wanna go through what, uh, how I got it and all that. Um, I had a low credit score at the time. My credit score was in the 600s, low 600s when I originally applied to this card, however, because of the student offer, I believe you had a pretty good chance, I, at least I did, to get the card to get approved. And so I did get approved, I got the card, um, and I originally started off with a $1,000 um, credit line. And, and what I wanna do in this video is go through my experience and go through some of the benefits from this card and the way I'm using it. Um, so if you want to potentially you know, apply for it, I'll, I'll see if I can leave a link below. If not, look up Discover. Look up the Discover IT credit card. I mean, it's not too hard to uh, to figure out, okay? So we started off, we applied for the student card. We got the $1,000 credit line. Now this, over my Kohl's credit card, which had like a $300 credit line, this is pretty good. This is, you know, for me, I thought, like, okay, this is for a first credit card. This is a couple months ago. Pretty good. And what ended up happening was recently, more recently, uh, after I think it's been just about six months now, that I've had the card, been paying it off on time. I've never carried a balance um, past my payment due date, never have. So I've never paid a cent in interest. Um, and with that, they increased my credit line to $2,000. And then that also gave me a $1,000 cash advance line um, inside of that $2,000 credit line, okay? That's what I currently have right now. With that being said, this Discover credit card, currently 1% cash back on everything. So every purchase, everything. Um, in addition to that 1% cash back, what they also do is they match your cash back. So they're doing a cash back match for your first year. So my first year, so I think I have to like February of 2020. So through that whole period that I, my first year of holding this card, um, I'm doubling my cash back. And there's no limit to that. They will double all your cash back, right? Um, and so, that's pretty cool. And this is why I use this credit card like all the time right now because I increase that credit line so I can use more without having you know a damage to my utilization. But at the end of the day, what I also do is I just pay down my card. If I can pay it down, or if I have the money in my checking account, I'll just pay it. I'll just pay the card. I mean, I never spend more than I have, right? That's that's my whole my whole idea. But if I know I'm making consistent income from some source or for a job for whatever it is, right? If you know you're making consistent income, um, you know, sometimes, you know, your payment's not due at the end of the month. And so it's easier to say, hey, you know what? Um, I can pay for this trip today, even though I don't have the money in my account today, but I will have the money in my account by next week when I get paid for my job or whatever you get paid from, right? If you know that, then you can do that. Be careful when it comes to that. Um, I tend to not do that. If I don't have money in my checking account, I will not really tend to spend the money on my credit card because I don't want to have to you know get in a situation where all of a sudden the money doesn't come in and now I don't have the money to pay off the card and now I have to carry a balance and pay interest on that. I don't want to do that. Interest rates, I, I, that's not a part of what I'm going to be talking about in this video because I don't really think that is, that's not something that I worry about. It's not something I recommend you ever have to deal with. Never, never, never want to deal with that. You never want to deal with interest rates and paying interest on a balance. Never do that. Um, and so I want to talk about everything else and the reasons why I'm using this card. On top of that, we have 5% on rotating categories every couple months. And so we'll, what this means is that, for example, right now it's restaurants and PayPal. So if I use restaurants and PayPal, if I spend money in restaurants or PayPal with my Discover, I'm gonna get 5% cash back 
Um, that's pretty cool. And that's, you know, I use PayPal a decent amount. So, you know, it's 5% cash back. I can't complain. On top of that 1% on everything else. And those categories will rotate. Sometimes it's gas, sometimes it's grocery stores, sometimes it'll be restaurants, PayPal. I think the next what, cycle is going to be like Walmart, Amazon, online shopping, you know, a lot of that. Um, and so it'll it'll change, but this is a great card. And with my next review video you'll see tomorrow, that is a great pair with the one that I'm, the card I'm going to be talking about in tomorrow's video. And I'll explain that why a little more in tomorrow's video once I reveal that card, okay? So on top of that, they also have a good grades. Um, since it was a student, I have applied through a student offer, right? They have a good a good grades um, bonus, right? So what that means is that you get a $20 statement credit. You can do it only once a year, but you get $20 to pay off your bill, to pay off a statement, right? If you have a 3.0 GPA or higher, okay? And you can only apply for this once per year, um, and that's what I also did, and I have a 3.0 GPA or higher in college, as I'm currently here in college at Penn State right now, uh, if you can't tell. And so I have that, and so I got a 20 bucks, and so like, that's pretty cool. I like, get little things like that, like, you no, know, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, Nothing crazy, not crazy bonus money, but hey, you know, with the cash back that I, you know, I've been, you know, I've been getting the doubling at the end of the year, doubling your totally first year cash back, like that, it has more incentive, more incentive to use the card more and more right now. Plus, you get twenty bucks if you have a three point GPA or higher. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good card for someone who is starting out, for someone who's a student, who's someone who needs to build some credit. You know, I don't think it's very difficult to get. Um, and, and I got it as my second credit card with a, a score in the low 600s, a low credit score in the low 600s. That's what I got, okay? On top of that, what I will want to mention is that they do have a refer a friend um, aspect where you can refer up to 10 people per year uh, and you get $50 statement credit as well as the friend who you refer. As long as that person applies for the card, gets the card and makes a payment or makes a purchase with the card. If all of those things happen, You'll get 50 bucks statement credit that you can pay off your bill, or and, and your friend will also get, or whoever you refer will also get $50 to pay off their bill. So it's kind of a win win. And of course, like I said, they have to have uh, the credit card, they have to get approved, obviously, and they have to purchase within three months, within three months, okay? So I want to clear that up. And so, with that being said, this card right now, what I want to talk about now is why I've been using it so much lately. Um, this card has been great because, like I said, you get 1% cash back on everything, right? On top of the 5% rotating category. And for, and for me, when this 5% this rotating categories happen to be restaurants during the summer, when I tend to go to restaurants more often, it's a win-win because I'm gonna go out anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my time with my friends, with, with whoever, right? And so you might as well also get that 5% cash back. Now, of course, don't think, and what I wanna mention here is don't just think that because, okay, you know, now you're getting 5% cash back, you're getting, you know, I can spend on, I can buy things and I, and I get cash back. You're still spending money. If you don't need to spend money on something, don't spend it because you're still spending the money. You're not saving it, you're not getting, the cash back's not saving you money if you, if you don't need the item. If you already need the item, if you're already gonna buy something with, with the card, right? The cash back is a great bonus to have. And for example, I have another card that only coming out in two videos from now, um, which I have accumulated a lot more cash back than I actually even thought. And that's pretty cool. I, I, I think that's awesome. And so with that being said, guys, I'm using the Discover card right now almost almost exclusively. However, I do I do try to use all my cards, at least for, for other other reasons, other categories. Um, with the $2,000 credit line, though, that you know, gives me more incentive to use it for right now. But what I will want to mention here quick um, is the utilization. So what I had an issue with early on is I had a $1,000 credit line, okay? And you want to keep your utilization below 30% from everything that I've seen and from Credit Karma. And so I'm not a professional here at, at all, so don't take this advice of like complete literally. Like just do your research. Uh, but when you have a utilization over 30%. So what does that mean? So if you have a thousand dollar credit line and at, at any point in time you have a balance on your card, your, 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 your payment, you, you, you've used your card over $300. So it's over 30%, right? Let's say you, you spent $500 on like a trip or whatever, you booked a trip for 500 bucks, you put it on your card. That's fine, right? And let's say you know, at the end of the month, the next month you pay off the bill. You have like auto pay. So I also set up auto pay. So I just automatically comes out of my checking account no matter what. However, I'll also pay it off earlier if I want to. And the situation where I would want to is if my utilization is above 30%, I'll just cut it down. I'll either pay off the full thing or, or at least cut down, like cut it down below 30% and have auto pay take care of the auto pay take care of the rest. Um, really once the, the statement 
do it, it's due once the payment's due. Um, but what you want to make sure you do is, is, is just keep that below 30% at all times when you're initially building credit. It's going to keep your score the highest possible. If you go above 50, oh, if you go above 30% at some point, it's not a huge deal. Um, it'll come back down as you pay it off, but don't consistently be putting on large things on your card and not paying them off until the end of the month when your statements do. Um, because if you do that, you're, you're going to get your credit. If your credit gets pulled at some point, it's going to show a high utilization. And that's not, not going to be helping your score, especially when you're first starting out and you don't have a lot of history. You don't have many cards, you know, a lot of different things. So that's one mistake I made. But now with a $2,000 credit line, I can, you know, have it up to 600 bucks, you know, and so that's, you know, a 30% utilization. I can go higher. So now that makes me want to use this card a little bit more, right? Because I don't have to worry about that. I can just use it and then have it get paid off at the end of the month. I don't have to worry about it, right? And so that's kind of the idea behind that. So with that being said, guys, this is the card. I'll leave a link below if I, if I have one. Um, check it out if you want to check it out, if you want to apply to it. Be careful though. Don't just apply because you, you see this video and you want to apply to it. Um, I, like I said, I had a low 600 credit score, so that's just me. I, I was a student offer, and that probably helped as well. Um, you have to put down some type of income. You have to put down, I think, your school, a couple of different things uh, when you apply through the student offer. Um, so, of course, you don't have to be a student if you want to apply for this card. But just know those are a couple of things that I, I had to deal with when I got the card. So if you are, you know, if this is your first card, maybe you don't want to apply to it because if you, don't, if you apply, they pull your credit, and it can hurt your score if you apply to a bunch of things before you even have one credit card before you get approved for one and you keep getting denied, 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 it's not going to make it easier for you to get approved for the next one. So maybe getting a secured credit card and looking into a secured credit card would help you at least initially before you jump into applying for this card itself, guys. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Like I said, link down below if I find one, if I have one for you, um, check it out if you want to apply for this kind of credit card. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up button if this video helped you out in posting the next two videos will be the next two credit cards that I have that I'm using consistently right now. Talking about those, a little more advanced, a little bit tougher to get than the Discover card, but I want to talk about those as, as they're going to be very useful. They're useful for me and they could be very useful reviews for you guys. So that being said, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.